Welcome to a new video about Elites and Gods, the big lives of little people in ancient Egypt. With its enormous stone temples, pyramids and tombs, ancient Egypt was undoubtedly one of the most productive advanced civilizations of the pre-Christian world. However, their advancement was not restricted to their famous monumental architectural works, but is also present within other facets of their culture. While ancient Greek, Roman and Chinese cultures enslaved and ridiculed little people or dwarfs. The dwarfs of ancient Egypt were respected and lived normal and even elevated lives. Sometimes dwarfs in ancient Egypt became powerful social players and were buried in elaborate tombs alongside pyramids. So important were dwarfs in early Egyptian religion that there were even dwarf gods. The Egyptians' complex hieroglyphic language system, which they painted and carved on architecture, arts, and crafts, offers modern researchers insights into daily Egyptian life. Among the crumbling stones and ancient texts are images of little people with a chondroplasia, the bone growth disorder that causes disproportionate dwarfism. And in the real world, according to Professor Chahara Kazma in her 2006 paper, Dwarfs in Ancient Egypt, Egypt is a major source of information on a chondroplasia in the Old World, where the remains of dwarfs are abundant and include complete and partial skeletons. A form of ancient Egyptian literature, called wisdom literature, emerged during the Egyptian Middle Kingdom period and became canonical during the New Kingdom era. Wisdom writings were moral teachings, and they stated that dwarfism was not to be regarded as a physical handicap. On the contrary, according to historian Betty Adelson, dwarfs in ancient Egypt were believed to have significant sacred associations, so owning a dwarf gave a person high social stature. The hieroglyphic words for dwarfs and pygmies are DNG or Deneg, NMW and HW. A set of specific symbols was developed depicting a human form with shorter than average upper and lower limbs and a large head atop a long torso with bowed legs. In medieval European cultures, dwarfs were often employed to stand beside kings and queens during public appearances and ceremonies because they made the royals appear much larger than they actually were. In contrast, Egyptian hieroglyphs reveal how dwarfs in ancient Egypt worked as jewelers, personal attendants, animal tenders, and entertainers. According to the 1972 paper, Orthopedics and Orthopedic Diseases, in ancient and modern Egypt, dwarfs were depicted on the walls of at least 50 tombs of the Old Kingdom, both near the pyramids at the vast necropolises of Saqqara and Giza. Furthermore, several high-ranking dwarfs in the Old Kingdom, 2700-2190 BC, achieved elite social status including Seneb, Pereniank, K.H. Numhop, and Jeter, who were all buried in elaborate tombs near the pyramids of Giza and Saqqara. Wait for us in the second part of Dwarves of Egypt to learn about the dwarf who served the fourth dynasty of pharaohs, Khufu, and how archaeologists found a statue depicting a dwarf and his family. It is now on display in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo.